Hey there, welcome to Fact Frenzy. Today, we're going to dive into a common question that often gets asked. What's the difference between frogs and toads? Despite their similarities, these two amphibians have several key distinctions that set them apart. From their physical appearance to their behavior, we'll explore all the things that make frogs and toads unique. Let's get started. The first and most obvious difference between frogs and toads is their physical appearance. Frogs tend to have smooth, moist skin and more slender, streamlined bodies. Their skin can range in color, often bright and vibrant, helping them blend into their environment. Frogs also have long, muscular legs, making them excellent jumpers. Their bodies are built for agility, with smooth, moist skin that helps them stay hydrated and allows for easier movement in aquatic environments. On the other hand, toads generally have rough, dry, and bumpy skin, which can often appear warty. This dry skin is a significant distinction from the smooth skin of frogs. Toads are also typically stockier and more robust than frogs. Their legs are shorter, making them better at walking and crawling rather than jumping. While frogs are built for speed and agility, Toads are more adapted to a sedentary lifestyle on land, which is reflected in their squat and solid appearance. When it comes to habitat, frogs and toads have different preferences. Frogs are primarily aquatic creatures, needing water to reproduce. You'll typically find them near ponds, lakes, or streams. Frogs tend to stay in moist environments, and many species of frogs are expert swimmers. Their need for water is tied to their skin's ability to absorb moisture, which they rely on for hydration and breathing through their skin. Frogs also lay their eggs in clusters in the water, where their tadpoles hatch and develop into adults. Toads, on the other hand, are more terrestrial. While they do spend some time in water to breathe, they are far less dependent on it compared to frogs. Toads can often be found in gardens, fields, and forests, especially in areas with humid conditions. Unlike frogs, toads tend to lay their eggs in long, stringy masses in water. Their ability to thrive on land, along with their less water-dependent lifestyle, makes them more adaptable to drier conditions and you'll often see them hopping around your backyard or crawling through the underbrush at night. Frogs and toads also differ in the way they move. Frogs are excellent jumpers thanks to their long, powerful hind legs. Their strong legs allow them to leap great distances, which is particularly useful for escaping predators or moving from one water source to another. Frogs' leaping ability is enhanced by their muscular legs, making them more agile in their movements. You often see frogs hopping quickly from one place to another, using their long limbs to cover large distances in short bursts. Toads, in contrast, are not built for leaping. They prefer to crawl or walk, and when they do hop, it's much less graceful and more of a short, quick movement. Their shorter legs are better suited for walking across the ground or slowly crawling through the underbrush. As for feeding, both frogs and toads are insectivores, but frogs tend to be more active hunters, using their long tongues to catch prey in a rapid, snapping motion. Toads, however, may sit and wait for insects to come to them, using their less mobile hunting style to conserve energy. Both frogs and toads have evolved unique ways of protecting themselves from predators, but their methods are quite different. Frogs often rely on their speed and agility to avoid being eaten. Their quick jumps, combined with their ability to camouflage in their environment, make it hard for predators to catch them. Frogs also have a variety of defense mechanisms, including toxic skin secretions, although they typically rely on their speed and jumping ability as their primary form of defense. Toads, however, 
rely heavily on their skin's toxins as a defense mechanism. Many species of toads have glands behind their eyes called parotid glands, which release a poisonous substance when the toad feels threatened. This toxic secretion can deter predators from eating them, as it can be irritating or even deadly. While toads may also use their rough appearance and slow movements to blend into their environment, their primary form of defense is their potent chemical secretions that act as a warning to potential predators. Another significant difference between frogs and toads lies in their reproductive habits and life cycles. Frogs tend to breed in more aquatic environments and often lay their eggs in clusters or large groups, forming jelly-like masses in ponds, lakes, or streams. The eggs hatch into tadpoles, which undergo a dramatic transformation or metamorphosis into adult frogs. This process is relatively quick in many species, with tadpoles developing into frogs within a few weeks to months, depending on the environment. Toads, however, usually breed in smaller bodies of water, such as ditches or puddles. Their eggs are laid in long, stringy masses, often attached to vegetation in shallow water. Toads' tadpoles take a bit longer to undergo metamorphosis compared to frogs, and their development can vary significantly depending on environmental factors. Toads tend to remain in their aquatic habitat for a longer period during their tadpole stage gradually transitioning to land once they become juvenile toads. This slower developmental process and the specific nature of their breeding sites help differentiate them from their frog relatives. So, while frogs and toads share some similarities, such as being amphibians and having similar diets, they are distinct creatures in terms of their physical traits, habitats, behavior, and defense strategies. Frogs are more aquatic and agile, whereas toads are more terrestrial and rely on their toxins for protection. Next time you see one of these fascinating creatures, you'll have a better understanding of their unique differences. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below with any other animal differences you'd like us to explore.